First, Argentina elects its first libertarian-based president. Second, the leftists are having a major meltdown because of it. <laughs> and third, to top it off, he's moving the Argentine embassy to Jerusalem. Damn! When asked about all this, he said, quote, how you like me now, end quote. <laughs> I'm Jasper Gonzo, and this <laughs> is what's next. Hey, what's up, everyone? Jazz Gonzo, what's next? Your daily dose. Hope you guys are feeling good today on this Tuesday. And of course, as always, facts, common sense, and salt. Well, I'm feeling pretty good this morning uh, today because, of course, my Eagles won. They beat the Kansas City Chiefs last night on Monday Night Football in a sort of revenge game from the Super Bowl. But um, is it a precursor? Is it a prelude to what's to be or what can come? Well, we're going to find out, but uh, it's another story. Anywho. Argentina. Yes, lovely Argentina. You know, home of some of the most beautiful women in the world. You know, great landscapes, great food, and of course, the newest president of Argentina, Javier Malay. Of course, Javier Malay is a libertarian economist based. And of course, the leftists are losing their minds. And to make things worse, he's moving the Argentine embassy to Jerusalem. How you like that? And here we go. This comes out of Breitbart. Latin American leftist meltdown over Javier Malay's presidency, uh, presidential victory in Argentina. The unprecedented election prompted a wave of outrage. Ooh, they're mad. And dismay among Latin American leftists. Malay defeated socialist and outgoing economist, uh, econ economy minister Sergio Massa on Sunday by more than 11 percentage points, becoming not just the world's first libertarian president. Really? The world's first? Wow but also the most voted president in Argentina's history with more than 14.4 million votes. That would be considered a landslide here in America, almost Reagan-esque. Malay was immediately congratulated by leaders of the region and uh, the world for his outstanding victory, including former President Donald Trump, who posted the slogan, Make Argentina Great Again. Make Argentina Great Again. Get it? MAGA? Yeah. The move is far more somber among the, regionals, uh, the region's leftists. The most notable leftist meltdown over Malay's landslide came from Colombia's far-left president, Gustavo Petro. Petro, known for his causing international incidents with his prolific, prolific tweeting, lamented Malay's victory mere minutes after Massa conceded the presidency. Massa no notably conceded before the official election results were announced. Why? Because he saw the writing on the wall. Quote, the extreme right has won in Argentina. It is the decision of its society. Sad for Latin America, and we shall see. Neoliberalism, neoliberalism, neo, like neocon, oh my gosh, no longer has a proposal for society. It cannot respond to the current problems of humanity. Petro message read. Yes, because as we all know in Colombia, it's the bastion of the rich and famous if you deal drugs. Petro's uh, lamentation was in response to his predecessor, former President Ivan Duque. Ivan Duque, excuse me. Congratulating Malay. Petro eventually followed up his initial message with another one, ultimately congratulating Malay on his victory. The relations between Colombia and Argentina, the ties between their peoples, will be maintained in mutual respect. I congratulate Malay. Petro's second message read, And we expect the progressive Argentine, uh, the assessments that allow the Latin American peoples to learn from the lessons of history. Basically saying, read between the lines, that Malay is going to be trash for your country. You better suck it up while you can. Minutes later, Petro received a low viral response from Salvadorian President Naib Bukele, who told them, now say it without crying. <laughs> nice, nice troll. Brazilian, uh, excuse me, Brazilian radical leftist President, uh, President uh, Luis Inácio Lula da Silva. Oh, yes, yes, the socialist who was in prison, you know, for corruption and was released just minutes before the election to beat Juan Bolsonaro. There you go. Uh, actively enrolled in Massa's now failed presidential campaign. Yes, they were involved in it as well. But, you know. Opted to issue a moderate uh, public congratulation message and that did not directly mention Malay, simply wishing good luck and success to the new, to the new Argentine government. Yes, congratulating the government 
Fuck you, Malay. Democracy is the voice of the people, and it must always be respected. Mm, no, not really. Lula posted Sunday evening. My congratulations to the Argentine institutions, Argentine institutions, for conducting the electoral process and the Argentine people who participate in election day in an orderly and a peaceful manner. Quote, I wish the new government good luck and success. Argentina is a great country and deserves all our respect. Brazil will always be available to work together with Argentine brothers and sisters, not even mentioning the damn new president one time. Wow. The current Brazilian leftist government through its finance minister, Fernando Haddad, expressed in October concerns over a possible Malay victory. They knew it was coming. And Malay, a fierce anti-communist, has repeatedly stated that he will not meet with Lula, describing him as corrupt and as a communist. I'm liking him already. We go from that to this. President-elect Javier Malay promises spiritual Israel trip will move embassy to Jerusalem. You hear that? So all the left is crying. I love it. Argentine Libertarian President-elect uh, Javier Malay confirmed on Monday that he will make visits to both Israel and the United States and guaranteed he won't be meeting with Biden. No, he's not going to meet with the dementia one. And he will make visits to both Israel and the United States before his inauguration on uh, December 10th. Wow, it's close. Trips he described as spiritual and intended to meet with the rabbis whom he had consulted during the election. Malay won the presidency in a landslide on Sunday night, defeating the current minister of uh, economics, Sergio Massa. Uh, Malay, a self-described libertarian, has promised to install the U.S. dollar as its official currency. Oh, I forgot about that. Yeah, there you go. Talk about a smack in the face. Dramatically cut government spending through elimination of privatization of, uh, privatization of agencies and eliminate the Argentine Central Bank. Eliminating the Central Bank. I love it. On foreign policy, Malay promised to abandon the pro-Iran, pro-China policies of incumbent President, uh, incumbent President Alberto Fernandez and long line of socialist Peronists uh, who preceded him and has repeatedly stated that Argentina's top allies under the administration will be Israel and the United States. Man, he is just doubling, doubling and even tripling down. You gotta love it. Malay reportedly began studying the Torah and considered converting to Judaism from Catholicism in 21 and has maintained regular studies with multiple rabbis. I do. I love it. I love it. Now, for those concerned that how based is he, is he conservative based? No, he basically sees it from the economy side, you know, which can be both conservative and liberal at the same time. But the feelings, uh, the vibes that I'm getting off of him is that he is more center right, if anything. Um, he's against abortion, great. He, uh, he's against socialism, great. Um, he basically is going to tell Iran, uh, Iran and China to go f themselves. That's great. Now, when he makes his visit to the United States, I said, well, you know, he's not going to meet with Biden. He, he probably won't do it. You know, I want him to meet with Joe Dementia. I want him to do so. To sit in the White House, across from that decrepit old crypt keeper, and basically saying, what we're going to do in Argentina is what the United States fails to do, is what they do not do, is what they don't give a damn in doing, and actually straighten out the economy, and hopefully everything will that will flow and result in other changes that are going to make the people of Argentina better off monetarily and socially. And I really, and if anybody's watched any videos of this dude, this guy basically has no filter. He doesn't give two shits. He will drop bombs on you all damn day long and not think twice about it. I don't think he'll do it when he meets Biden, but it will be nice. And with that being said, I'm Jazz Bargonzo. This is What's Next. Want to see more like this? Please leave a comment below. Like it, share, subscribe to it. Hit that notification bell so you guys never miss a thing. And we'll see you next time. Peace.